Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Erica. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to do Pinterest keyword research in a free keyword, uh, Pinterest keyword tool that you can use to go ahead and find keywords for your blog post, for whatever it is that you're promoting on Pinterest. So here I am on this free tool that Pinterest just introduced, and this is only available to people in the U.S., but if you're not in the U.S. like I am, you can go ahead and use a free extension called ZenMate and you can change your location to access this tool. And you just type in Pinterest Trends on Google, select the first result and it's going to take you to this page. Now what are you going to be looking for when you get onto this page? You're going to look for long tail keywords that are trending at the moment. So like you can see here, they have this date night ideas at home. So if we go ahead and click on that, you're going to find other extra keywords here at the bottom as well. So you can begin adding those. And once you do, guys, it's going to come up here at the top. So you see you have date night ideas at home, stay at home, date night ideas, date night at home. And you're going to see which ones are actually on the upward trend. So we have the one in blue. It's actually trending at the moment. And what happens if you go ahead and create, you know, a blog post or an image that you're targeting this particular uh keywords is that you're going to get shown for related images when people search for these terms because right now this is something that is trending and there's just not enough content on Pinterest that you know will pop up in the search results when people search for these terms so this is actually a great tool that you can go ahead and use now another way to go ahead and use this tool is to actually use the search bar so let's say you are in affiliate marketing this tool will actually tell you if your search term is on the downward trend if it's something that you want to go ahead and target right now at the moment or not and you can start adding other topics here at the bottom and see which ones are actually on the upward trend so you have these social media marketing and that has a high amount of searches and it's also higher than your other two topics so if you're someone who's in the make money online niche and so on and so forth you might actually want to go ahead and start creating content around the social media marketing search term right now on pinterest so guys i went ahead and i typed in social media to see what other search term they have available and i actually found that twitter is actually huge on pinterest at the moment so if you're in the social media marketing and you want to create posts it's actually telling you that everything about twitter is in the upward trend so if you start creating content about these different keywords you have twitter quotes you have twitter header twitter memes and all of that it is going to you know blow up on pinterest and you are going to start getting traffic to your blog post and so on and so forth so next guys we have the pinterest keyword tool and this is a free tool that you can go ahead and use just type it into google and you're going to get the first result you can click on it so now that we know that twitter is a keyword that is actually trending on Pinterest you can go ahead and type that in here and it's going to give you all of the different other keywords that you can use to create your blog posts and these are actually trending at the moment so one of my best ways of gathering long tail keywords once I've done my research to find out what's actually trending on the platform is by using the Pinterest search itself. So if I come on over here and I type in Twitter, it's going to give me other keywords. So let's say I want to go for this one and it's going to give me other keywords that are actually related to my seed keyword but what you want to do here if you have three keywords you just want to you know click next to it and enter the space bar and it's going to give you extra long tail keywords now the more you add so let's say we want to add vintage twitter head header aesthetics we want to click on that one now you can choose an extra keyword from here to have at least five keywords in your uh, blog title or whatever it is that you're promoting on the platform so there you go guys if you also go ahead and click next to it you're gonna see you know you have vintage brown vintage 
header a twitter header aesthetics and this is going to be the perfect keyword that you can use for your blog post this is a long tail keyword that is trending on pinterest at the moment and it is going to be found easily if you use the long tail keywords guys so guys once you've chosen your keywords that you want to use another way to find extra keywords is by just scrolling down a little bit and you are going to find extra keywords that pinterest is telling you that people are actually searching for on the platform so find your keywords get it in there grab your long tail keywords scroll down find other keywords that you can go ahead and create your content around now guys, another way to go ahead and find keywords that are actually trending on Pinterest in your particular niche is by simply clicking on the search bar. Now you need to go ahead and remove all of your searches that you have done on Pinterest and it's going to tell you that these topics are popular on Pinterest at the moment. You have the gym workout, the healthy snacks, the health all of these are popular on Pinterest and they are in your niche. So it is a great time to go ahead and create content around these particular keywords. If you don't have them already, Pinterest is telling you what's trending in your niche that you can go ahead and create content around. This is a great way to start driving traffic to your blog and whatever it is that you're trying to promote on the platform. Now, once you choose one, so let's Say we want to go ahead and, you know, click on weight loss tips, for example. Oh, this one does not have, you know, a lot of you know other keywords that you can use. But let's say we want to, let's go with gym workouts, for example. And this is exactly what you want to look for. So you have gym workout plan for women. And then you have gym workout plans for women to lose weight. So you got your seed keyword in there. And this is a perfect long tail keyword that you can go ahead and create content around right away to start ranking and to start getting traffic on Pinterest. So we'll go back to gym workouts and you just click next to it. It's going to give you extra keywords, gym workout for beginners. And these are usually the ones that are trending the most. And then you can go ahead and choose one of these because these are also trending as well and people are searching for them. So if you go for gym workout for beginners to lose weight, that is a perfect keyword to go ahead and create your content around. Just make sure guys that when you gather your keyword, you want to go ahead and use the exact match keywords in your titles. And it should be in the first sentence in your description and it should be in the link of your blog post so this is what's going to make your image or your post to go ahead and rank on pinterest for your particular keywords last you need to save it to a relevant board so your board could be called gym workouts or fitness that's going to be perfect to be able to rank your pins on pinterest as fast as possible so I hope this video helped you guys. And if you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Give me ideas of what you want me to create, you know, uh, videos around. And I'll see you in the next one.